Hey everybody, we're continuing our series on the Georgian grip. This is uh, part three on just getting the grip. We're going to talk today about a variation. I don't even know if this is considered a variation of Georgian grip, but you can do all the same throws and all the mechanics are kind of the same from it. So we just lump it all together. But it's really good for nogi, um, and it's really good for when your opponent prevents you from getting any type of real good strong grip. So what that looks like is anytime a scenario I have, you know, this is my standard scenario for the Georgian grip. All right, there's a lot of situations we're going to talk about where we can weave this arm in, we can grab our own lapel here, or we can grab the wrist, and we have a lot of the same throws. So if I stepped in for Osodigari here, mechanics and everything are the same as, uh, as when we do it with a standard belt grip. So a couple of different ways to get into that. Um, one of the simplest ways is off of this person doing a shot for a double leg and me sprawling. So I'm here, okay? As I start to come around, he's going to use that wrestler's horn to try to stop me. Bam, just like that. I come in, I grab, all right? And now I can enter into groundwork. I have a nice entry into Kimura here. Or I can start to bring him up. And do my throws. Okay, the other scenario is I go for my standard grip, okay? Maybe we're here, I drop for a, a leg attack, come over the top, and I'm pushing him down. He starts to frame on my hips to try to prevent me from coming in. I'm going to weave in, grab my own gi, weight down. It's still like I'm kind of sprawling on him here. All right, and now I've got my throws from that position as well. Later on in the series, we're going to talk about what we can do from that Kimura grip in that scenario. There's a, num a number of really nice throws from there, and uh, you can do a lot of groundwork from that position as well. So make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. It's Sensei Casey with Rock Judo. If you guys like our videos, please uh, follow our Facebook page, follow our YouTube channel. We have uh, like 100,000 people that watch each of our videos. Every day we put one out. But uh, not a lot of people that follow our page, and that's when you get updates on the videos, and you get to be part of our community and stuff like that. It's really important for us to spread judo, so uh, following our page, going to our page, liking it and stuff like that, it's really important to us. We do all this kind of to give back to the community, so please do that for us. Thanks a lot, everybody.